this is the device. This is the setup, the 3D printed attachment um, that is sitting underneath the, the actual mobile phone here. You can imagine the camera of the mobile phone it sits on that side. What you have in this attachment is actually two LED lights that sit facing the camera module. What you then do is to insert a sample slide into the sample holder. And then you basically use the camera module of the phone to take images of your sample. And if you zoom in, you can see these individual dots that, that show individual molecules amplified and analyzed through our technology. DNA analysis technologies require instruments that require a lot of electricity power, a lot of, you know, you have to put it into different uh, in infrastructure. Um, this is self-operating. It's uh, the only, you know, there is not a single uh, cord connected to it. it um, so I think this is the, the, the major impact of this thing. So I can think of, of application in really remote areas all over um, the globe. Uh, you don't really need any infrastructure. What we envision, envision is that you, after your microscopy test, to see whether you have tuberculosis bacteria, which you could actually be performing on this platform, uh, you could do the genetic test to see whether the bacteria is re has the resistant genes or not uh, for the for the uh, for the uh, antibiotics, and then you will be prescribed the antibiotic that will work on you, and then you save uh, months of uh, un inefficient antibiotic treatment uh, during which you will be contagious and you will, you will um, um, spread the disease to your family and friends. This particular piece of research um, is one of a number of efforts that are being made to make it easier to diagnose tuberculosis as close as possible to, the, to where people seek care and treatment. And that's important not simply for convenience, but because we believe, World Health Organization believes, that about a third of the people in the world who develop tuberculosis never get seen by a decent medical service that really knows what it's doing for diagnosis and treatment. Even $500 is quite a lot of money for medical services in really resource poor areas. And I think that, you know, they, as I understand, are still at a relatively early stage with the, the development of this technology.
we are connected in this world and that means that we can really bring diagnostics into the world and, and then the beauty is of course the connectivity so that we can just upload images directly to the cloud and experts that sit far away uh, can analyze these images and actually do a diagnostic um, decision on that.